Welcome back to another episode of the KC Campbell podcast. KC Campbell with you, of course, and we get to talk to our first IndyCar Series driver of 2022, NTT Data IndyCar Series rookie, Christian Lungard, the driver of the number 30. Uh, yes, the- correct. Um, Ray Hall, Letterman, Lanigan Racing in the NTT Data IndyCar Series. Christian, how's it going, man? Uh, not too bad. Cold, but otherwise fine. Yeah, Indianapolis is, uh, it is, I mean, it is cold here. It is. Uh, oh, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I think I woke up this morning and it was minus 17 degrees in Fahrenheit. Don't ask me. I don't know what it is. But in Celsius, it was minus 17. Yes. Yeah, it's uh, it's much colder, like, you know, in Illinois, um, Minnesota, is, it's it's freezing. So, yeah. Yeah. yeah I have a friend in Chicago at the moment and he yeah, says Chicago, he is freezing. Chicago's freezing right now. It's pretty well freezing here too in Michigan. So oh, uh, it's pretty. It's pretty good here. But uh, yeah. Well, first off, welcome. To, uh, welcome back to the states. And thank you. Uh, how excited are you to to come to IndyCar full time? After I know you've been had a pretty successful career in Europe. Of course, competing in F three and F two. Um, now here in IndyCar in the states, how excited are you to make this transition uh, to these types of cars? I think to be honest, after after I did the race, um, I would say the main focus for me was to finish the F2 season and then see where we get to. Uh, but then obviously straight away after the race, there was an offer from from uh, Ray Hall Lerman and Lanning Racing. And we were like, oh, uh, we didn't expect that because obviously the culture that I come from, you always get your deals sorted after the kind of the season is done. Um, so to have the future sorted already, like with two or three rounds to go in F2 was something I didn't expect, but it was also nice because I knew personally that the future would be secured, but I still wanted to end the season on a high, um, because, you know, now I know what I'm doing, uh, for the future, but I really wanted to finish also proving why they've signed me. Um, that didn't work out so well. Um, but I'm still pretty sure that they have the confidence in me. I'm, I'm very satisfied with having done the race in August uh, because I think I put myself out there over here, you know, proving what I could do. And uh, again, I'm pretty confident that that's why I'm here now, you know, having, having performed, I would say that well, uh, I'm sure it could have been better as well. Um, But, you know, to come in as a rookie and, and, and do a job like that, I didn't expect it. And I would still say I'm, I'm actually not very, really satisfied with it because I felt that I personally left a lot on, on the table and I know if I would have had more experience um, it would have been better than than what it ended up being um, but that's just pure motivation for this year really. Yeah so of course coming to to RLL um, this year you're gonna be uh, you're gonna have your first test as a full-time IndyCar driver Monday at Seabury. Yep yep of course, you know, Sebring's the track that's hosted, of course, the 12 hours of Sebring in, uh, in IMSA and, of course, other prestigious races as well. How excited are you to finally put a, get, a, get another test in there? I know, you, uh, I know you were at the Barber test last year, but um, what's it going to be like to test there at Sebring? Um, oh, I'm, I'm tired. I woke up early this morning, Yeah, uh, <laughs> which is why I've got my coffee on the table as well. Yeah. Um, but now, to, to be honest, I, I don't know what to expect from Sebring. I know it's it's a track that they go on to test for for the street circuits. It's bumpy, it's tricky, it's short as well, um, which is only good because then you can do a lot of laps. Um, but to be honest, I'm just looking forward to get in the car, kind of get a feel of uh, of bumps, how the car handles on 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 in, in certain scenarios with. Uh, instability and, and, and bumps on the braking and, and all these kind of different things. So you can prepare for, for example, Nashville. I'm not going to say that the Sebring is as bumpy as Nashville, but, you know, for me to have a kind of an idea, you know, I can, I know that Nashville will be extremely bumpy compared to, to Sebring. So, you know, if I have an idea of how bumpy it is here, I will, I'll kind of have a reference if, if they say, okay, it's going to be a lot more than that, then I have a reference, but uh, it's just getting, track time really just getting laps in the car and, and get used to to everything you know yeah it's been a while it has been since august so yeah I bet. It, it's a few months mm-hmm. so when looking at the indycar schedule i know that 
some, I know you've raced on all different types of tracks. Um, have you, what's it going to be like racing on an oval? I know Indianapolis is its own thing. And I think, I, I believe you tested there, but, oh, you didn't, oh, never mind. Well, you will. Um, yeah. But what's it going to be like to finally go on an oval? I don't know. Um, I'm not too sure what to expect. Uh, everyone keeps telling me that, uh, telling me that it's going to be awesome, and I should really look forward to it. But you know, at the same time, like, oh yeah, it's quite fast and blah blah. blah. But um, you know, I'm, I'm just to to get it straight. I'm I'm not scared of 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 the overall thing. I'm not scared of uh, having an accident or or anything because in the end, then you won't be fast. But it's more you know, the kind of the excitement and, and not knowing what to expect and, and how it really feels when you're there. Um, I would say you can see it from the outside and then you can kind of see, okay, this is really, really fast, but you can't really picture yourself in the car. Yeah. Um, and I think that's, I wouldn't say it scares me, but, you know, it kind of worries me thinking, oh, when I get in that car, I just need to floor it and go as fast as I can. And uh, I'm, I'm excited to try it. Definitely. Um, I think it's going to be extremely, extremely cool. Um, but uh, yeah, it, it won't be right now. So I'll have to wait until the weather clears up and Absolutely. get slightly warmer so I can get out there and, and have some fun. Absolutely. It'll, it'll be exciting for sure. So I know that you're entering into IndyCar at a time where, you know, so many, where the series is at an all time high, of course, a new TV contract and all that. But you've you're part of a pretty inner you part of a pretty good rookie class. You have um, you have David, of course. You have David Malukas, of course. Um, you know, I know Roman Grosjean and Jimmy Johnson were rookies last year, but they're competing in their first full time season. And of course, you got all the uh, the names and faces that you know uh, really really well. What's it going to be? There's like? a lot. There's there's a lot of rookies this year, right? It is. There is a lot of rookies. Yeah, because. Actually, a fun fact: David Malukas used to be my teammate in karting. We were we were teammates for the 2016 World Championships. That's awesome. Yeah, and some and some years that uh, races that year. Yeah, I'm looking forward to see him again. I haven't spoken to him since, really. Yeah, I'm going to talk. I'm talking to him Monday. I've known David for four years, so it'll be fun to see. Kyle Kirkwood's also a rookie this year as well. So that, of course, at AJ Foyt. So that'll be it'll be quite interesting to see all you guys in there and stuff. But uh. How, what's been the biggest transition of, you know, I know you were in America for a little bit last year, but what's it been like to be here for a while? I know Europe is Europe. And then what's this place like? It's big. Um, I think the to be, what I noticed, my, my girlfriend is here with me. And I think the only thing we really noticed is how big the country really is. You know, you would, you would open Google Maps and then you would say, okay, I need to go here. And then it's like an hour drive, but it looks like a couple of miles, right? And where I come from, you know, if, if you do that, that's maybe like five minutes on, 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 the, on Google Maps. And for me, that's kind of a big transaction to get used to because everything is so big. You see the roads and you're just like, are they missing any space around here or whatever? Uh, houses are huge. The supermarkets are huge. Um, which is obviously a good thing for my girlfriend because she loves to shop. So wherever I can drop her off and she can have fun, um, that's great. And it, it's just so different. And everyone is so polite. I, I don't think I've met someone that didn't actually say hello, like just randomly. Really? And, and yeah, it, it, they're very, very polite around here. Yeah, it's, uh, yeah, Indianapolis is one of the best places. I, I was there last summer doing some, doing some other stuff and it, doing some uh, media events for football. And uh, the American one, not the, not the, not the. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I get it. I have to specify that. Yeah, no, I, I get it. So different with everything. I, I do watch the Premier League, so I have to make sure, like, I have to tell the difference between the two. But yeah, okay. I was up at Lucas Oil Stadium doing some, uh, doing some other stuff. And Indy is okay. the best places to live, uh, just, just in general. That's good. Yeah. So I placed, I played my, I placed myself well then. Yes, you have. Um. So what's going to be the biggest challenge for you in these cars? Uh, ovals. Nice. 
I mean, it, I, I think it's it's pretty simple because r- knowing how to race a race car, street circuits or road courses will be fairly similar. I've done both street circuits. I've done road, uh, road courses, of course, but ovals, the experience, I would say, excuse me, uh, plays a, a, a huge part in that. Um, so I think the, uh, the experienced guys that knows what they're doing around an oval track I'll probably say at my first test, they would just drive around me, you know, like uh, whatever way. Um, but uh, I think it's all about getting comfortable. But I think once I have an idea of what I've got to work with, I'm not too um, too worried about the, the performance. But I think this year, the experience will be something I have to gather quick. Uh, I have to, to take everything in that I, that I can. I think uh, I think you learned. I'm, I'm not sure where the co- where where you started learning that coffee is pretty good. Um, uh, did you learn that from like David Malukas when you guys were teammates? Because you because if you know David, he drinks like like a lot of coffee. I don't know if you know that. Um, I I didn't, but I drink a lot of coffee myself. That might might be why this doesn't work. I mean, I, I mean. You know, there were odds, hours on end where David used to spend all those time, all that time at Starbucks. So that was uh, that was a lot because he used to go on the Starbucks all the time. That's what you get for uh, knowing him for so long. Um, how many cups of coffee have you drank? Have you? Uh, what's the most that you drank in one day? Oh, that's a good question. Uh, now you made me think. <laughs> um like six nice yeah, that's 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 uh that's well i mean i i mean it depends if you if you if you mean espresso shots or an actual cup of coffee um like an americano or yeah whatever. yeah let's go okay yeah probably like five five six okay. all right that's 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 pretty good I've, yeah I've, I've, i figured out don't <laughs> take more <laughs> don't, don't take more than three espresso shots within an hour Absolutely. don't it's not a it's not preferred yeah I, w- I wouldn't i wouldn't tell you to do that yeah okay since i'm here in michigan i'm sure you've learned about i don't know if i don't know if you've looked at detroit yet on the uh, i don't know if you've then been in the simulator and all that are you ready no. for the there's a street circuit here of course you'll be going after after the indy 500 here here in detroit last time on on bell isle of course it's been a you know historic race course for years Actually, the last time on Bell Isle before they moved to downtown Detroit in 2023, it's a bumpy street circuit. Um, mm. I don't know if I don't know if uh, if uh, Graham and Jack have told you that or others have told you that. But how excited are you to come here to mi- come here to Michigan and, and and compete here? And of course, Graham's had a lot of success there too. Um, I think with the driver lineup that we have, we have a good mix. And uh, the most that I can learn from Graham and Jack themselves, the better. I think uh, they've proven themselves in the past. They they know what they are doing. And if I can use as much of their experience as possible straight away, I'm not too worried that uh, that any any results will be there. Um, I'm quite confident, you know, in, in terms of what I know that I can do myself. I'm not worried about uh, being quick enough. But uh, the, the, the question is, can I be quick enough over two hours, over a long race distance? And uh, I think that's where we probably have one of the best packages in terms of driver lineup um, in, in RLL, to be honest. If you ask me, I know I, I come in now and say this yeah. as, a, as a rookie without really you know, experience, experiencing all the tracks. Mm-hmm. But uh, looking from, from what I can see myself, that's that's my my personal opinion yeah when you do come here to michigan make i don't know it's like the there's like the we're known here for like the american coney island thing and all that and it's like uh, it, it's kind of an american tradition it's like we have like national coney island we have a we have a bunch of like coney dogs and hot basically it's a hot dog with with basically with chili and onions on it and all that so i'm not sure if you're big into that but yeah if you if you do come here try one it'll be interesting i i will i will but that, that's, that's something that I want to do while, while being in the States is I want to explore the country because yeah. the first time I was here in, was in 2015. Yeah. And then the next time I showed up was last year for the test at Barber. Yeah. And then obviously I came back for the race and, and then now we're here. And 
and I know I'll be here permanently for for a while. So, it you know I, I need to to go out and experience the experience the country and the countryside and whatever there is to to see. Mm-hmm. Yeah, if you do get a chance, also um, I know that Scott McLaughlin did his Scott Discovers America thing. Um, if you do get a chance to kind of explore some things, we also have the uh, the Henry Ford Museum out in Dearborn, so that'll it'll be uh, that that's always a fun place. A lot of history there um, of this country and uh, some other things as well. So yeah, this is this is a fun place and all across the country. We've got we've got some cool stuff. So I'm sure I'm sure there's plenty. Yeah. I don't think I'll see it all in a year, to be honest. That's true. Yeah. That's I'll be true. I'll be too busy racing. That is true too. Um, <laughs> yeah. It'll, but it'll be fun if you if you do get some time, go check go check some things out. Oh yeah, sure. You I'll got, be you know, I'll be flat out people. everywhere. All right. Well, Christian Lungard, thank you so much for coming on and talking with us. Good luck. Yeah, sure. Week. Let's have you on again sometime too, bud. Yeah, absolutely. Cheers.